Okay, the students are isolating plasma DNA. Uh, the plasma is going to be used to clone a gene into it. So the very first thing we're going to do is take the bacteria cell that which contains the plasmid and isolate the plasma DNA from the genomic DNA. It's to make sure that they have the plasma DNA, they're going to run it on an agarose gel to verify that they have isolated the plasma DNA from the genomic DNA. The other way to make sure that they have the plasma DNA would be to quantitate it using uh, absorbance reading. But we're going to look at it on the agarose gel to make sure it's the correct size and, and it is the correct plasma. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So to isolate the plasma DNA, what they're going to do is they're going to break open the bacteria cells and then they're going to have the DNA bind to material known as silica, which is proprietary reagent from the company, and that the plasma DNA will bind to the silica, and then what they're going to do is they are going to remove the plasma DNA from the silica, and once that is eluted, it will be in a very small volume, maybe like 50 microliters, and they're going to take a small volume out of the 50 microliters and run it on an agarose gel. Okay. Excellent. So they've also taken the plasma DNA and put it into a bacteria, which is known as a transformation. And that's the only way we're going to get more plasma DNA because the bacteria is going to is like a factory to make more plasma DNA for us. So what they did to get that bacteria, we grew the bacteria last overnight in uh, a media which contains the, an antibiotic. So only the bacteria which contain the plasma will be able to grow in the presence of the antibiotic. So bacteria which will not have the plasma will not be able to grow without in the presence of the antibiotic because they don't have the resistant to the antibiotic. Fantastic. Be patient when you're going into it because I know a few of the people that are in my class they're having a lot of problems with the math and for me math isn't really an issue it's more of the the science aspect of it so just be patient and just take your time learning everything if you don't get it there are plenty of people in the class to help you out and everybody's there to help you so just patience is the key